Hey what's up everybody, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get the Samsung Galaxy S6 Smart Remote app on your Galaxy S5. This may also work for other Samsung phones and tablets, but it will not work for devices from any other manufacturer. Now the GS6 hasn't even been released yet, but a leak of some of its apps has already appeared on the internet. Credit for this one goes to XDA user Audi95, so big thanks to him. But to get started, you'll need to make sure that you have unknown sources enabled in your phone's settings under security. With that taken care of, head over to the full tutorial at the link in the description below. When you get there, you'll find a link for the smart remote installer file, better known as an APK. So go ahead and download that to your GS5, then when it's finished, tap the download complete notification. From here, press install, and when that's done, tap open. Now if you haven't configured the app before, you'll have to run through some initial setup. But don't worry if you've already got all your devices entered in and whatnot because any existing settings will carry over. But if this is your first time, go ahead and tap start on this message. From here, type in your zip code, then press the done button on your keyboard. After that, select your TV service provider from this next list, then you'll get a chance to set up the universal remote portion of this app. So press OK here, then choose your TV's brand from this list. Next, turn your TV off then hit this power button at the bottom. I'm one of the lucky ones because my TV turned on with this first option, but if yours doesn't, just try the next option and so on. But either way, when your TV turns on, tap yes at the bottom of the screen. From here, you can use this same interface to add other devices like your cable or satellite box, but I'll skip past that now. When everything's set up, you'll be taken to the smart remote home screen. This will show you all the programs that are currently airing on your cable provider, and all you have to do to watch one is tap it. But if you want to get an old-fashioned remote interface, tap this button at the top of the screen. From here, you can do all of the basic commands. And really, the interface has only slightly changed in this newer version. But still, it's definitely cool to get a chance to use an app from a phone that isn't even for sale yet. For the full breakdown, though, you should check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.